Hello and welcome back to Goblin Gaming. We're here in Seven Days to Die, full release, 1.0, second episode. Uh, last episode we discovered that uh, don't fight bikers at night when you have very little stamina and not a whole lot of combat skills yet. So, we got rocked. It's actually rather embarrassing. Considering I used to play this game on Nightmare Difficulty, always sprints and, you know, insane or whatever. I don't know. It's, uh... <laughs> got rocked by the base game, so, you know, definitely gonna need to plan out the build a little bit better in the future. It's uh, good notes to have for when we play with everyone else later that I don't want to just dump all my points into my attributes right away. I need to get some points into combat. Alright, let's see, can we get in? Okay, cool, so he opens up at 5 now. I thought he opened up at 6 normally, but they must have changed it so he opens when day breaks. That's good. Let's see if we can get a quest yeah, from him. What do you want? Let's see, clear zombies, east, east, is it east that our town is? No. So there's another town to the east, interesting. Okay. Sure, let's do whatever the closest one is. Well, I got let's just do the clear zombies, moving, I'm down for that. And then let's see if we can sell him before. some stuff. I went through the dumpster and grabbed what I thought we could potentially sell. Do that. Okay. Let's see if we can make a little gold here. Paper doesn't sell for very much, huh? Okay. Okay, so that got us a little bit of dukes. We're gonna need some water. So let's go food and drink. 120 per water, huh? A little pricey. Going by two. But we will buy two. And we don't quite have enough for bacon and egg, do we? If we sell something else, how about these bowls? Huh? Or bacon, baked potatoes, that's what I meant. Um, what about these bolts? Damn. Yeah. Boss. Okay, getting closer. Or we'll sell the stone we mined, I guess. Alright. Get a little bit of food. Cha -ching. Okay. Cha ching indeed, sir. Cha ching indeed. Yeah, I don't really even need that. Let's just sell them that too. I can always craft one later. You know. Take a look at the shit I got, but don't expect me to cook it. All right, now that we're done okay. doing business, get out of my store. So rude. Okay. Let's go clear out those zombos. Which armor set is it that gives us the uh, ability to craft? Or what, I guess, what attribute gives us armors? So it's medium armor. Okay, so this just reduces the armor penalty, but not your ability to craft armor. It used to be that you got the ability to craft different armors from the actual armor talents. It does not look like that's the case anymore. Okay. So if I just search armor. Okay, there we go. Reading armored up will increase the quality of crafted armor, boost loot odds by increasing any attribute levels. Okay. Okay, so you just just armored up in general. Okay. That's what we gotta need to kinda of be on the lookout for. Come here, buddy. Stance. Maybe I should be doing more light attacks, less heavy attacks. Probably what it is. It's causing me to lose so much stamina. Alright. Just do heavy attacks when they're on the ground, maybe.
He's going to be there for two hours unless I find another vitamin. That's annoying. Maybe there will be some of these trucks up here. Excuse me. Nope, oh, sorry. One of my cords is wearing out, so there's a little bit of static in the line that pops up every so often. I need to get like a line isolator or just get a new cord, but it just started happening like yesterday. It's unfortunate because my family's out of town for like four days, so I have some time to actually record. And then that starts happening. I don't really have the money to go buy the thing I need to fix it. Those bills, 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 you know how it is. Especially when you're providing for a family, you know. Better skinny knife. Take that and sell the old one. Nope. Oh, I think you can repair them with bones still. Can you still do that? Yeah, you can. Nice. Crap items challenges complete. Oh, that's the other thing. There were a bunch of challenges that I completed that we can claim, so let's do that. Should give us a good chunk of experience. Hopefully we can get a level off of it. Like all of these just give experience, so we're not gonna take too much time. It's just like 100 experience. These are 500 experience. If you wanna see what I had to do to get them, we can pause the video and look, but. Just entering the burnt forest gave us a huge bonus, actually. So entering each biome gives you a bonus. So we should actually run over to the wasteland to get 5,000 freaking experience. Because there's a wasteland nearby. Alright. Well, with that said, we got a level there. So let's actually put a point into Electrocutioner. Like we should have done originally. Do we have any points left? That's it. Okay. Start event. Fucking denizens. Okay. This is a little outdoor encampment we have to clear out. That's a pretty easy one, actually. What the? I didn't see him. Oh, it's a freaking bird. Oh, God. I hate those guys. I legit did not see him. I might need to, like, adjust my gamma slightly. He didn't contrast at all. I don't want to make it too bright because I don't want to like take away from the whole dark and gloomy aesthetic, but I do need to be able to see things. So we got a zombie there waiting to ambush us, it looks like. Might be just a corpse though. I don't have any arrows. I'm gonna craft some up. We're certainly gonna use them. Alright, it's just a corpse. There's more zombies to kill, but it still says clear, clear the area. Oh, I threw down a a bat uh, a bedroll back in that town. Although if it's just giving me free bedrolls, no, I can't pick them up. It sucks. There he is. Leaving the prizes triggers them. That makes sense. I like that shirt. Mega Crush shirt. Props, dude. Respect. Mega Crush your skull. Ooh, zombie loot bag. Heck yeah. Is that going to cure my fatigue? No. Man. More forged iron, though. That's good. I mean, since the cloth doesn't sell for that much, well, I do still need it for, like, bandages. Let's just plant fiber from that. Okay. We still haven't cleared it all. There's more somewhere. There they are. Yeah, let's go down and kill them. Ooh, a little floral shirt. That's nice. I like that. I mean, it's, still, it's a really a little thing, but I do really like the whole zombie clothing variation. Oh, 
and we completed that quest. Nice. Right. Anything else to loot here? Yes. Maybe some honey. So far I've been pretty lucky with the scouts. I've gotten honey for most of them. Not that one, though. I had to jinx it. And... Mm. I guess I should mark it, just in case I can come back with a wrench later. I don't know if that's still a thing. Either way, loot eventually respawns, so we can come back for free books, I guess. It's another way to look at it. Let's see what's in this popping pills crate. Maybe it's got some vitamins. Some vitamins. Nope. Too bad. Is this just boss? Nothing underneath it? Okay. Fine. Okay, sports bag. Wiring thing. Nice. Right here, zombie. Oh, he's got a little jacket on. What's the say on it? Oh my god, he has a picture of a zombie cop on a shirt, and he's a zombie. <laughs> That's so meta. All right, I like it. I love it. I want some more. More variations of clothing. As many as possible. It really does make the world feel a little bit less, like, fabricated. You know? Um, so Wasteland was up here. If we want to get that free 5,000 experience, or we can just go turn in. Let's just go turn in. I can sneak over to a Wasteland when it becomes nighttime and just... Stealth grab that experience. Not something to record myself running to go do. It's a long run. A very long run. So. We don't really have running shoes or any way to give us more stamina at the moment. Let's try to avoid the long runs when possible. What about these? Did we do these? No. Okay, let's loot these trucks. Okay. Uh, hang on, magazine. My brother needs something, so I can pause for a second. Let's grab this one. Maybe get some honey out of this stump. Nope, I get our luck ran out with that. Let's go over to the trader, turn in his quest, and then see what his follow-up quest is. Alright, get to the trader, drink a little water because we're getting thirsty. Stamina too. What's your what rewards are you gonna get me? Your first job was gonna be free. Tools digest, harvesting, crafting skill, nice, and some other stuff I can sell back to you. Cool, I'll take it. What the hell do you want? I was going to sell side? back to him that ammo that he just gave us. All those, all that. Probably not worth holding on to. But maybe we can throw it in like a bin over here for like storage. Because we'll just probably end up selling this stuff back to him constantly, so. Um, let's see, is there anything in here I can put this in? There is upstairs, there we go. The desk here, that'll work. Nope, just can't have to loot it, it disappears, okay. How about this bag that was up here? Is it still... Nope. Well, that's lame. Make a drop chest outside, I guess. That's fine. 
All right. Are we getting dupes for doing that? Don't test my patience. Yes, we did. Okay, good. In your wallet. Good, good, good. Well, what is our health and hunger at? Crack a book, cause you're dumber than dirt. He's so abusive. It's uncalled for. Food and water. Food's getting a little low. We can eat the sham we have. That's fine. It's gonna give us 15 food. I guess I should give up on the double points for now and just, uh... Just read some of these. At least the ones that are going to give us some functional things right now, like our crafting and harvesting stuff and our forging. Uh, and electricity. I also have to grab the other stuff from the dumpster, but... Uh, stealth or sneak attack damage. Yeah, that sounds fine. And gun crafting, sure. Okay. So, got a little bit stronger there, just by virtue of books. Books, books, books. Let's see if he has anything that we can afford that's not food that we might want. Uh, armor's really expensive. I don't really want any of these, I don't think. Use less food and water, I guess, would be okay. Reducing a chance of critical injuries is probably pretty decent, too. Cooking pot. That's definitely something we could shoot for getting. We might be able to just find one of those. Oh, books are 300 each. Okay. What's well, scrapping for fun? Improve salvage tool crafting skill? Okay. Tech planet. Improve robotics crafting skill. Armored up is what we need. But short of that, I think the tech one is probably worth getting some of because that's ultimately what we want to do with our build. Now you can go fuck Let's do that. Hyperton quality to robotics. Okay, cool. So now we can craft the thing we got as a reward. That's good, I guess. We'll be able to progress it further and craft better stuff soon, I'm sure. Okay. Let's grab another quest. Um, and then probably gonna go grab... Those are all a lot further away. There's one fetch to the south, which I believe is where that town is, right? Yeah. Let's do the fetch to the south, because we can pair it with picking up that stuff. Listen up, jackass. Thank you. you want work? It's a deal. Pitment at Jerry's Bell. Okay, so he's sending us to a gas station. That's cool. I dig that. It'd be nice to get a like a bicycle. Actually, can craft it if we get the parts. So, what are we gonna need to make a bicycle? Nasty vehicles. One of five. We have to read these monkey books. Okay. I think we have one of those in the in the bin back at town. We'll see in a second. All right, made it back to my dumpster. Tech chunky. Grab those. Forging ahead. We'll just read them all. I'll give up on the holding them for the armor thing for now. If I get it later, then I'll start holding them. But otherwise, we're just gonna go and do this. Let's get over to that fetch quest. Ooh, an ambulance I can loot. Let's grab that out. Nothing there. Flint. Probably gonna end up needing that sooner rather than later, I would assume, honestly. There's lots of intriguing, like, starter POIs in this town that I think we could probably pretty easily clear, actually. Cool. 
Funky Oil Company. Hmm, that one looks like a little bit of a harder challenge. This has its own moat already dug. We could build a base here. Make the moat part of our <laughs> base design. <laughs> that could be fun. Probably not super effective, but it would be fun. Alright, this guy. We're going to take revenge on him now that it's daytime. Alright, we're going to use left clicks. See if that helps us a little bit more with the stamina. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just more left clicks until they're down. And then a couple right clicks. They don't take extra damage when they're downed anymore. That's interesting. They used to. Hey, hey, hey! No touch. Okay. Okay, so there's a fire department there. My trailer's over on the left. Police station as well. Those are sometimes good for, like, finding guns and stuff, but we're pretty low loot stage. I don't think we're going to find guns so much as just ammo. So maybe we hold off until we're a higher loot stage to loot that one. Jim's Gun Fortress. That has to have some guns in it, right? Let's just do this real quick. I suppose there's anything up on top of this sign? Or is this just like... Yeah, you know, a little sniper nest. You can work something like this into your base, maybe. Could be interesting. The durability. A thousand. Not terrible. Repairs with iron. Let's upgrade into cobblestone. Okay. Hmm, maybe. I mean, I usually custom build my bases, but it's kind of looking for fun ways that we could maybe innovate a little bit and not just create an OP base that can't be beaten, you know? I mean, still the goal is to create a base that you can defend the horde in, obviously, but it'd be kind of nice, kind of nice if we could use some existing architecture and get some unique designs going. That's always fun. So there's a trick you can do with POIs when you have like a clear POI. You can go in, you can clear everything out, loot everything, start the quest, and then reset it and loot it again. It's a pretty efficient way to gather materials and loot. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. I don't always do that. And there might be an argument to be made for that's not a good idea with how they've made the new trader progression system work. But... For now, we'll try it out, see if it still works. If nothing else, just to answer the question, does this still work, you know? I'm kind of cornered in here. But we should be fine. Okay. Another guy there. Yeah, left clicking is definitely more effective. Stamina wise. Close the door behind us so that people can't sneak in on us from the street. That's the idea there. Alright, let's see what we got for food. Mata. Come on, I think it's some canned food. Bunch of plastic, huh? I do like that the visual representation shows us they can be looted. I know they added that uh, alpha or two ago, but I still think it's really cool. And that that pops out once it's looted. Those kind of things just really neat. Very glad they got added to the game. He said I never checked everything in here, but it looks like we did. Let's hop on into the next room. That's a trap. If I've ever seen one. Oh, maybe it isn't. Always suspicious when they have piles of rubble on the floor of it, like the doorway entrance of a room. Usually means they got zombies stationed nearby. That when you step on that, it's gonna alert them. But it wasn't the case here. I was just being paranoid, apparently. We have to better axe yet. Yes, we can. And that was a mistake. I thought that was going to give me a stone back. Oh, it's still scrap. He's okay. 
Left door. Hit the ground a couple times, get a couple of stones to repair it with. Get a minute here. Box of car parts, repair kits, and some oil. Nice. How about up here? Give me a whole mini bike in a box. Come on. It's not asking too much, right? Alright, improves tool and crafting skill. Cool. Improves salvage and junk. Nice. Salvage tool crafting. Royal shape. Goods are our tools and weapons to acquire these items. Use them to craft new things. Well, I think that's all we need in here, so let's go and reset it and then do it all again. Yes, it does work. Cool. Glad it still works. Again, I think it might just be more efficient to just do the quest and move on, though. Unless it's a real good POI. Like, this one's probably not the one that you want to take the time to do that on, but, like, if it were a shotgun messiah or something, yeah. Makes sense. I'm going to repair this, because I feel like it's going to break in the middle of a fight. That was scary. Oh, lonely. Okay. Guys in here. I think there was one in this room. Yeah. Oh no, there wasn't last time I was expecting there to be. There wasn't. This time there was. Okay. Check the bathroom, because there was someone in there last time. Not this time, okay. How about in the garage? Yes. Oh, that's right, the talent point we put in proved our light attacks, not our heavy attacks. Right? The electrician. Do stamina costs are reduced by 8% and 15% for power. Oh, it is both. Okay. With all this deal, 10% more strength damage. Cool. Mm, I don't know if we got that last time, but that's fine. It's just a little trash bin. I also don't think we went in here last time. We missed a few things. Oh, well. Cobblestone! I think. Need to cobblestone? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well, we probably needed it. It's fine. Cement powder. Nice. I don't think we have room for that. Um, what could be good? Say this. It are issues. Let's just go and scrap the camp chair as fun as it is. We do have space for the cement powder. I guess we already had some. That's dope. We'll still need to craft a mixer to actually like craft it up, but I mean, it's a start. Hey, uh, old PB&J sandwich. What's the worst that could happen? Dysentery. Hmm. Mm, perhaps not the right call. Maybe we do the baked potato we bought instead. But it's there in case we need it in emergency. We also have fresh meat we can cook up. Let's go craft a campfire, really. Let's see if there's anything cool in the semi here. Need an own thread. Keep you out of my head. Okay, let's recheck this box. Also grab the shelves in case there's any canned food in there that we can utilize. Interesting. Uh, vehicle, off-road, headlights, bond, schematic. Dope. Okay.
and vehicle crafting. Nice. Wonder how far we have to go to get that leveled up to be able to craft one. Four out of five, so we only need one more to get bicycle and wheels. Cool. We're almost there. Yeah, books are like super important then. So we should probably prioritize trying to find a POI that has books rather than doing quests at the moment. Although the rewards are nice from the quest. Maybe it is worth it, I don't know. I really don't know what's the most efficient way to play anymore. It used to be pretty cut and dry, but... Now... With all the changes they've made, I'm not sure. Okay. So that's all that. Let's go to the roof now. Let's find the White River Supply still. Somewhere over here. Probably up there. Right there. He is zombie in the corner, but he ain't bothering us. We ain't bothering him. A different way onto the roof, it looks like. Cool. I didn't search this area before. When we did the reset, mistakes were made. Chop. We did a few points into archery. Might not be a terrible idea either, but I mean, really, I don't know if it's needed because we're gonna probably be switching to more like robot, robot turret type thing. So I don't know if we really need that. We can't move that. That bothers me. I was hoping they fix that. Okay, well, we can inject some steroids to run back super quick. Um, now that we are pretty much full up. Turn in that quest. First, let's finish looting, though. What we can. Uh, explosion. Exploding crafting skills. Nice. Definitely take that and a schematic for scope. No, it's an actual full mod. Sweet. Uh, recipe. Arrows. Let's craft you up. Salvage the extra bow we we're carrying for some reason. I think we looted it out of the box, most likely. Wasteland Treasure Volume 3. NASA is extremely rare, powerful crafting reagent. I figured out this tip to sometimes harvest a little from cars and medical equipment. Adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. Nice. Hey. Okay. Well, I'm going to just use that right now because I know we need some food. Add some more of that stuff. Cute. Medical supplies. Another vitamin to cast. Okay. Very nice. Let's drop. I want to keep the Aga. I want to keep pumpkin. Drop the rotting meat, maybe? I think that's needed for farming, too, though. Let's drop the paper, I guess. We have Medicaid bandages. We can craft more bandages later. It's fine. Although... Scrap it into cloths. Cool. And what's in here? More pipes. Nice. Gonna need those to repair with. Alright, so there's something over there. And is there anything else on the roof up here? Kit? Question mark. Bird's nest. Maybe we'll find another egg. Excuse me? Nope. Aries feel. I'm about to have my fill of this POI. No punch. Oh, please don't turn me. Ooh. With chrysanthemums. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. That skipped me. So somebody's little. I hole. Oh shit, that probably did. Um, 
gives me stamina, but probably actually like uh, dehydrates me. What is this gonna drop if I take it? Nitrate, probably. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Fertilizer bags get nitrate. Great. Oh, bad times. Bad times. Well, that was lucky that we decapitated. All right. Um. There's a turn in that way. Steroids, where you at? There they are. Suddenly we are no- oh, I didn't mean to take two. Oh, bad time. I was holding down the button to run. Well, I guess we don't have any more of those left over. Just use it while we got it, I guess. Run over to the trader. I'm gonna pause for this run. I've been trying to cut out as much run time as possible. I didn't do it on the first episode. I apologize. I will unpause for looting things like cars and stuff, although I'll try to make it so it's only the last little bit of it in the future. Ooh, got an engine. That was worth it. Okay, hold on. Gotta figure out what we're gonna ditch to carry that, because we're definitely carrying that. Okay, um... Let's drop the murky water, perhaps? Or the feathers. We can drop the feathers. I think they're probably the least important thing we have. They're everywhere. Okay. Nice. Finding an engine right now is just really, really good because we don't even have a wrench. But if we get the ability to craft like a mini bike or something, we're gonna need that. For our biome. In relation to this thing. They're up there. That's right, I was gonna do that at night. Um a little spooky, actually, to this area. Let's loot this truck. And I'll uh, pause until we get to the crater. Now the vehicle crafting skill increase. Next, we have unlocked bicycle and wheels. Wonderful. We can now craft the chassis. Good, we can craft the basics for the mini bike now. We're just going to have to be able to build a workbench, probably. It's actually not very long before nighttime falls, so Everything he's gonna kick us out soon anyway. Me wrong. Now take your right. reward and nice. get the hell out of here. Okay, so the problem is we don't have enough room for that. But what happens? Well, I guess we have to choose. Magazine, three random crafting skill magazines. That's probably what we want. But the magazines seem to be like the most important thing, really. We'll throw a shovel on the ground. Okay, and let's we'll sell him some stuff. Stumbling into my shop. Just go and sell him some gunpowder. Um, I don't think we're ever gonna be able to craft the machete because that's not really the build we're going. So let's sell him that. We got an extra baton. Let's see if the trick of repairing and selling still helps was 18 cell value now it is 48 cell values yeah so repair stuff if you can before Look you sell quick. it buy quicker piss off fast yeah. bullet hips great drop our lead we found some acid nice we're not selling that that's actually really important nor are we selling the engine nor the medical stuff i'll sell the scope though i don't care about that really not at the moment anyway I can find more later, I'm sure. Okay. Where did my shovel go? Did it already decay? Looks like it did. It's okay, we can craft another one. Okay. Uh, let's grab the follow-up quest from him so that we have a job for tomorrow. They're all east. This one's the closest, so we'll just grab that one. I can also do that um, during the night if I need to. But... I'd rather not because it spawns a bunch of zombies, but I feel more comfortable in being able to take them on now than I did before, at the very least. Okay, so what do we need to be able to build a workbench? Let's look while we're in safety. We need to unlock workstations, so we just need one more workstation book. 
So maybe we'll get lucky right now and get that. No, we did not. Got electrical crafts though. Nice. Improved craft 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 trap crafting skill. Cool. Shotgun crafting skill. Pipe shotgun quality two. Okay, so we can craft a pipe shotgun right now, it looks like. And we can craft a better bow. So that's cool. Let's do both of those things. Any plant fiber? Yeah, that's fine. We can get that easy piece. Uh, we have a lot of dupes. Let's buy a little bit of food before we leave. Let's go to the vending machine here and get a couple cans of stock. Large beef ration. Sounds good. A little bit of. I think we'll save. That should be enough. We'll save beyond that. Okay. We'll grab a little bit of plant fiber. We'll gear up for tomorrow. What the heck? Do you have to hit it with your bare hands? Oh, that's silly. Okay. I think it's actually been like that for a while. I just forgot. What was it? Was that? We need to grab a shovel again. So, some small stones. Okay, we can hit it with our hands at least. Um, so let's just find a rock to bang on real quick. Should be one right there. It's almost nighttime. Extra, so we have the spot in our inventory. Um, let's see. Here's, okay. Let's level two shovel two now. There's one other thing we craft. I think it's pipe shotgun. Level two pipe shotgun. We need have. Back in our dumpster. I'll go grab that. Oh god, I woke up a bunch of burning guys. That's about to become my time. Mistakes were made. I saw a barrel and decided to loot it. Okay, we're fine. Honey, possibly. Also, worth checking out. My idea is yeah. Ooh, shiny. There's a barrel. More gasoline. Need that eventually. Not yet, but eventually. This is a bad idea to start this right now. Honestly. Is that like an actual bench? It looks like it, but it's not operational. That's too bad. Huh. That's too bad. So I guess the workbenches you find out in the world right now you can't just use anymore. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you in your, you know, private time. Your arm just fell off though, just so you know. Letting you know. I don't know where my dumpster went. I think I entered from the wrong side of town. I'm on the wrong side of the tracks here. Is that a dude collector? That's too bad. So hoping it would have water in it. Maybe this is a dude collector. Oh, I can make one of those. I should make one of those. Where's my sleeping bag? So that's where my my dumpster is going to be. I looted that. I growing a bunch of guys. It's going to run. Let's see if we just make it over here to our little dumpster. Craft a pipe shotgun. Although I think I sold all the shotgun shells I had. Um, no, 
have enough food. Never mind. I can drop off some of the stuff I don't want to carry right now, though. But I don't necessarily want to sell to Jerkface McKee over there. Stuff we're all gonna need. Most of this is stuff we're gonna need later. Not that, although it's not bad for Horde Knight, I guess. And I guess we'll start saving the gunpowder. Definitely saving that engine. I can carry the iron on me, but I stack of that already. Drop the meat for when we set up a camp. I should probably start crafting. A little bit of it, just a temporary base and nothing else. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight, is I'll figure out where I'm going to lay out my base and just start laying out some frames of it, and then we'll, we'll uh, kind of talk about what I'm thinking when the, there's a watering board right there, and it's like 10 minutes until nighttime. I'm just going to skip out on that one. Um... Yeah, so I think I'll just uh, kind of figure out what I'm going to do as far as a base goes. And then uh, start laying that out. I wonder if we can make use of some of this. Thousand, huh? What does it upgrade into? Cobblestone again. Interesting. I wonder if zombies will pass across those. Probably not. Maybe you can make something with this. I guess I'm like barbed wire fencing and stuff, but hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem that promising. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to think about some things overnight. I kind of start out a little mini base kind of thing. Um, maybe start planning what we're going to do for a horror base. And uh, craft up some cobblestone, because I should have some materials for that, I suppose. Maybe do a little digging to get some more materials, that kind of thing. And we'll see you guys next episode.